Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK and in this quick video I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom palettes within Cinema 4D. Now Cinema 4D is completely customizable in its layout and all of its icons and I'm going to show you how to do that. So one of the things I often use in Cinema 4D are some of the things under the MoGraph options but there isn't a nice little drop down icon here available to use uh, in any of the layouts so I'm just going to show you how I've quickly made my own. Now because Cinema 4D already has a couple of um, or a drop down for MoGraph here I'm going to use this and turn it into one of my little drop downs. So if I just click that that gives me my um, separate MoGraph thing and then I can right click on here and I can customize palettes. So what that means is I can now move this and drag and drop stuff around. So if I just get rid of the MoGraph effector group for the moment, because I don't want that to be in here. And then I'm just going to drag and drop the um, cloner object to the top, because that's the one that I'm probably going to use the most. But I'm going to arrange my layout of this so that it matches some of the others a bit more. So I'm going to use 3x3. Three Okay, and then um, you've got the small icons and you've got the small text, which is normally what you've got in those. So right click on the cloner, fold palette, which means it folds it under the cloner icon, and then you can drag and drop that to where you want your icon to be. Then you can close your palette. And then I'm going to go back under MoGraph and then go to the effect as one. Well. Same thing, I'm going to click on there, and then I'm going to do the same sort of stuff, rows and icons 3x3, three three. so that gives me a nice little selection there, right click on the group, fold the palette which puts all of those under that single icon and then drag and drop that and put that next to my MoGraph one. So closing that and unticking edit palettes, you can add in a whole load of other stuff so you can just edit palettes and if there's other things that you want you can do a search for it and then you can just drag and drop those up into your palettes so you can choose where you want them and you can make your own palette or you can add it to the ones that you've got here. But if I just untick edit palettes, now you can see like the light one, I've got my MoGraph one, okay, it's got the cloner at the top, you could go back and rearrange those if you wanted to. Uh, and then you've got your effectors in that fashion and that's a really nice quick way of putting that together okay and then you might want to if you want to do it something differently then you can right click and you can save your palette okay so have it somewhere useful I'm just going to be naughty and put it on my desktop so palette L4D you may want to put it somewhere you know where you've, you've got a stash of them so I created my own folder on my other computer and that means that that will always you know be there when I need it and then under window customization if you save this as your startup layout what it means is that every time you load Cinema 4D it will load this palette and it will load your two icons in there as well okay I hope that was a useful little quick video for you about customizing Cinema 4D thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or check out blog.maxon.co.uk